Uh, our next speaker is Mr. Todd Fine. He's the director of Project Khalid in Little Syria. Todd has been a leading advocate to landmark a strip of buildings in the area around the World Trade Center to preserve the original Little Syria that tells the story of the first Arab Americans to immigrate to New York City. Also, he's a literary scholar of Amin Rouhani, who lived in the World Trade Center area. Todd? Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Arab Americans, Muslim Americans had nothing to do with September 11th. And the issue that I deal with in my work should have nothing to do with September 11th or the 9-11 Museum potentially either. The fact, the fact that this area of downtown Manhattan was once an Arab neighborhood that had a, a substantial population of Muslims as well including an Islamic uh, community center in 1930 phone directory. Uh, the World Trade Center South Tower was built over an Iraqi cigarette factory, uh, manufacturing factory. And uh, the South Tower, in the rubble of the South Tower, was discovered the cornerstone of a Syrian Lebanese Maronite church. This is a fact that maybe, maybe people should, don't know or they should know. Um, it, it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with 9-11, and I want to stress that. But the 9-11 Museum has chosen to have a section on local history. Its charter from the Lower Manhattan Development Corporation says that it should give the history of Lower Manhattan. And it has chosen in a section of the museum to talk about the construction of the World Trade Center, including the demolition of the Radio Road neighborhood uh, for the World Trade Center. So therefore, myself and other local historians for three years have attempted to ask the 9-11 Museum, would you include one sentence one photograph saying that this neighborhood had Armenians, Greeks, Syrians, mm -hmm. people who were patriotic, uh, who, who contributed to this country. It would provide a different narrative that would help humanize the Arab and Muslim Americans. It would provide a different uh, narrative for, for young children who may be uncomfortable in that museum of those backgrounds. And the 9-11 Museum had refused to, to change its exhibits over the last three years to include even one sentence and one photograph. And I don't want to to assign aspiration or motivations to the 9-11 Museum. Their curators, their staff are very good people. I know they're under a lot of stress, but I think this was a missed opportunity. And my frustrations in dealing with the 9-11 Museum on this issue helped make me concerned about this terminology about uh, Islam, and Islamist, and jihadism, these terms that as academics are highly contested. And so an extension of my academic work on the Little Syria I also organized a group of 400 of the leading uh, scholars of religion, of politics, of Islam, to write a letter to the 9-11 Museum asking desperately for some outside academic review of this film. The 9-11 Museum has, ne has never said that there was any sort of committee or any sort of clear vetting. They've cited a few scholars, but what they should have done, what they could have done, was invite an array of the leading scholars of Islam, of political science, all, all around the world, dozens of people that could have helped construct a full narrative of the origins of Al-Qaeda, of political Islam. All these issues that they wanted to discuss could have been done with leading experts that would have provided the nuance and the full historical context that is needed. Unfortunately, they did not do that. They have been, unfortunately, too secretive. And we are in this unfortunate position. And I hope that they will it will involve more scholars and make changes to this section of the museum exhibit. Thank you. Thank you, Todd. Indeed, the scholars here today talk about uh, the definitions and the concerns that they've had. And in the press releases, you'll find an attachment uh, of a letter that's signed by over 400 international scholars um, from universities around the world that express grave concern about the terminology that's used in the in the film that very few people were allowed to see but some celebrities have such as NFL players and actors and actresses but not really uh, but not really the concern